I have the honor to serve on the state of California's Coastal Commission, and I spent three days last week in Southern California uh, at the Coastal Commission meeting and was amazed that my colleagues, half of whom of that 12-member body hail from the southern portion of the state of California, uh, pointed out to me that Senate Bill 827 disproportionately impacts uh, lower-income communities and communities of color. Uh, as a matter of fact, one of my colleagues said, this is urban renewal 2.0, and then uh, she said to me, how dare your senator rezone Compton, California? And that, I, I was not thinking about it in that lens, um, because I was thinking about it relative to 96% of San Francisco, but I, I also wanted to express that because it's not just about San Francisco. But when you look at the map that I just held up, if this is about having more suburban communities do their fair share, when you look down to San Mateo and Santa Clara counties, it is a thin little ribbon along the 101 corridor. This is not about density equity. This is actually a backdoor attempt to rezone San Francisco. And I say that as somebody who's very proud of a lot of the rezoning efforts, controversial though they may be, where we're building thousands of units of housing on the waterfront and at Bayview Hunters Point and soon at Treasure Island and at Mission Rock and at Pier 70. We're, we're, we're cranking it out. We're doing it. Uh, Supervisor Tang, as I said earlier, um, did Home SF. Uh, Supervisor, former Supervisor Farrell and myself um, did accessory dwelling units. So it's not as though uh, we have our heads buried with the, in the sand. And with that, I hand it over to Chair Tang. Thank you, Supervisor Peskin. And